हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज ललित सोनी एंड यू आर वाचिंग दृष्टि आईएएस इन दिस एपिसोड ऑफ न्यूज ऑन मैप वर्ल्ड विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सर्टेन लोकेशन फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड व्हिच हैज बीन इन न्यूज इन द पास्ट फ्यू वीक्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द प्रैक्टिस सेशन व्हिच वाज गिवन टू यू इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी द प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन वाज व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सिटीज इज और आर करेक्टली मैच्ड एडमंटन US, Chicago, Canada, Minsk, Poland. Okay. So when we are talking about these three cities, we'll be talking about their location. First, we'll start with the Edmonton over here. So here in this map, here you can see when we are talking about the Edmonton, it is basically in Canada. But when we are looking at this particular map, you won't be able to identify where it is. This is USA. Okay. And then here somewhere over here, we have this particular city. We'll be seeing in a zoom map over here. Here you will see this is USA. Okay. And then there is this lake. okay this there are the, when we are talking about uh, canada there are various lakes okay so there is this a athabasca okay and in the vicinity of that you will see edmonton that is basically over here okay so edmonton is basically in canada so here if we see so this is incorrect then coming to chicago chicago you know that it is in usa let's have a look at the map of chicago over here here you will see this is the map of usa and here somewhere you have chicago okay then moving further the next city that is basically minsk when we are talking about minsk minsk is in belarus okay so you can say none of them is basically matched over here when we are talking about the map of uh, belarus here you will see this is the belarus and the capital here is that minsk okay so it is in the vicinity of russia okay and these are the baltic uh, countries you know that that is uh, latvia estonia lithuania okay so you can remember that when we are talking about these countries these are basically called the baltic countries so please remember that that is important this is baltic sea over here okay now moving to the question again here you will see as i told you uh, edmonton is in canada chicago is in usa and minsk is in belarus so we can say that none of them is correctly matched so option d would be your right answer over here okay now moving to the question number 1 of this particular episode recently discussed marsco piro tribe okay this is the name of a tribe that is marsco piro is found in which of the following countries uruguay ethiopia south sudan or peru okay so when we are talking about this particular uh, you can say uh, tribe that is you can say shy from the contact when we are talking about the uh, uh, when we are talking about the uh, mainstream societies okay so they have they are very well integrated with each other but there are various tribes which are they are actually uh, you know when we are talking about the contact with the other society or the mainstream society they are very shy okay and because of which they try to live away from the mainstream societies okay one of such tribe is basically marsco piro okay right now if you are speaking this is the tribe which is having a population around more than 700 700 or 750 and this is the tribe which is basically among the top 100 uh, you can say uh uncontacted tribes okay so recently there was this tribe which has been seen in the areas of brazil etc and that is why it was in news because this tribe is right now coming out of their areas and they are looking for the another areas because the places where they used to live there are some kind of uh, timber industry is getting in uh, you know in that into that particular area and because of there there was this uh, wood logging which is going on and that is why they are trying to move away from that particular area okay so this marsco piro tribe was in news let's talk about the locations which they are uh, living in so when we are talking about this particular tribe as i told you this is the world's largest uncontacted tribe with more than 750 members they have traditionally lived in the isolation in the amazon rain forest okay so when we are talking about amazon rain forest that means that we are talking about the south america over here okay let's see the map of south america okay so when we are talking about this particular map over here these the tribes are basically located in the areas of the peru okay but recently they have seen that they are also found in the areas of brazil as well okay so they are trying to look for the other places so that is why it was in news so option uh, answer would be peru but the thing is when we are talking about the other aspect of this particular tribe let's talk about them as well here they occasionally has contact with the yin community sharing ancestry and the language now moving further here you will see outside contact pose health risk due to their lack of immunity because the herd immunity has not developed yet that is why they are having this issue of immunity during the rubber boom in 1880s the rubber trader invaded their territories enslaved them and subjected them to the severe atrocities in 2002 peru established a madre de 
Dios Territorial Reserve. Okay, in the Peru, when we are talking about this area over here, somewhere over here they have actually gone for the you can say this particular reserve that is Madre de Dios. Okay, and in that particular area they are basically living over there. Okay, and since it is having a boundary with the Brazil over here, you will see and these uh, uh, you know uh, uh, water or the sorry the timber related logging activities which are happening in this particular area and that is where they are moving away, away from the area and that is why few of them has been uh, you can say witnessed in the brazil as well okay now here you will be seeing country located in the western south america uh, bordered by the ecuador Bol uh, colombia brazil bolivia chile and the pacific ocean this basically they are talking about peru over here here you will be seeing the boundaries here we have ecuador then we have colombia then here you have brazil then Bolivia and Chile, okay, and here we have the Pacific Ocean, okay. Other than that, if we are talking about this particular area in the, you know, you can say South America, here you will be see there is Chile, then we have Bolivia, then we have Argentina, okay. So this particular area that is called as your lithium triangle, okay. So when we are talking about the lithium triangle, that means that mostly you will find that the there are lithium reserve when we are talking about uh, the world over the highest lithium reserves, reserves are there or you can see the largest lithium reserves are there in South America and that is called as the golden triangle Chile, Bolivia and here Argentina, okay. You can say that more than 50% of the lithium is found over here, okay. But the thing is there are problems with respect to the excavation yet because these countries are not having that kind of technology uh, as of now. But uh, recently you know that India has signed an agreement with Argentina to go for the exploration over there. So that is there. Moving further here, it is an extremely diverse country with a habitat ranging from the Andes mountain to the Amazon basin rainforest, okay. Now here you will see this is the area of Andes, okay. So this is Andes over here and then this is the area of basically Amazon rainforest as well, okay. So that is why it is having diversity or you can say like geographical diversity over here and uh, this is about this particular Masco Peru tribe and then here you can say this is about the uh, this particular territory that is of Peru and we have talked about the uh, nearby areas as well, okay. Now moving further, uh, we'll be uh, looking at the question, Masco Piro tribe that is being seen in the Peru, okay. Option D is your right answer. Now moving further to the question number 2. Consider the following statement regarding prime meridian. Statement 1 is, this is 0 degree longitude line and serve as the starting point for measuring distances east and west around the earth. Second statement is, it passes through the Volta Lake located in the United Kingdom. You have to choose the correct answer okay now first statement is saying that this is zero degree longitude line and serve as the starting point for measuring distances east to west okay now coming to this particular picture over here you know that when we are talking about earth earth has been divided into longitudes and latitudes okay these horizontal light lines are basically your latitudes okay and these vertical lines these are basically your longitudes okay when we are talking about the zero degree longitude that is basically your prime meridian over here okay and from where we will be measuring the distances if uh, there is uh, something which is located over here we will be seeing that that is the east to that okay and this is will be this will be the west to that okay so we will be uh, measuring the distances in east and west from the zero degree meridian okay now zero degree meridian is passing through a particular place that is royal observatory in greenwich okay when we are talking about the uh, you can say england or when we are talking about the uk here you will be seeing that this is the place from where this is basically uh, this line is passing okay they have mentioned one name that is volta lake so when we are talking about the volta lake this prime meridian is passing through the volta lake as well but the thing is volta lake is not located in england this is located somewhere over here in ghana okay so here in this next slide you will be seeing here in Ghana, this particular prime meridian is passing through Volta Lake as well, okay. So that statement is, when we are talking about the uh, prime meridian which is passing through Volta Lake, that statement is true, but the thing is, Volta Lake is there in Ghana in the African continent, okay. So that is about it here, coming to the prime meridian, that is 0 degree, and then there is this international date line, you know that, uh, that particular date, uh, that is the line from where you will be deciding the international dates. Okay, and this line is not a straight line. This is because uh, to make sure that few islands are integrated uh, in one time zone. So that line is basically you can say having some kind of deformities as well. Okay, now this is about the prime meridian and the international date line. Okay, 
this is the zero degree longitude which is right because longitudes are the vertical lines and latitudes are the you can say horizontal line so that is right the serve as the uh, starting point for measuring distances east and west which we have seen so statement one is true over here it passes through the volta lake till this you can say that this statement is true located in the united kingdom now this is incorrect because it is not located in united kingdom it is located in ghana okay i hope that is correct so option uh, uh, statement two is wrong statement one is correct so option a would be our right answer over here okay now moving to the question number three consider the following statement regarding the gulf of eden it is located between arabian peninsula and the horn of africa okay so we'll talk about that it connects the red sea to the arabian sea through the strait of hormuz you have to choose the correct one now first one it is located between arabian peninsula and the horn of africa now coming to the map over here you will be seeing this is the gulf of eden which we are talking about now this is the arabian peninsula and this is basically your horn of africa so that statement is correct second statement was related to it connects the red sea to the arabian sea through state of hormuz okay now here you will be seeing this is basically red sea okay this here is the extension of arabian sea and now this is the area which is connecting it okay now this is not state of hormuz this is bab al manda okay so when we are talking about this area that is bab al mandeb so that is why we can say that that statement is incorrect here you will see this is the state of hormuz okay that is basically connecting your persian gulf with the gulf of oman or extension of arabian sea okay so i hope that is correct now here you will be see that statement two is incorrect statement one is correct option uh, you can say answer option a would be your right answer okay now moving to the next part Question number four. Consider the following countries: China, Japan, India, Myanmar, Philippines, and Australia. How many of the above mentioned countries are members of Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership (RCEP)? Now, when we are talking about the RCEP, that is basically an initiative which has been taken by the ASEAN countries, and they have actually gone for the economic ties, or you can say, uh, you know, uh, trade-related agreement with certain countries. That is five more countries, basically. So they have actually come up with a regional, uh, you can say, arrangement. and that arrangement is basically your rcep now earlier india was also there was this asean plus 6 okay earlier there was 16 people who were uh, 16 members who were supposed to join this then india actually said they will not be interested in joining it because of the you can say because protecting the domestic industry of india when we are talking about the countries which were involved over here like australia sector they are very good in the farming sector and the dairy sector and uh, that is why india has this concern because if the cheap dairy products are starting to come in india that will harm the domestic market and that is why india did not take uh, there were other concerns as well but the, that is why india did not take part in the rcep so basically if you remove india from this particular uh, combinations you will see that china japan myanmar australia philippines they are part of the rcep so you can say that only 5 1 2 4 5 and 6 option d would be your right answer now have a look at the these countries over here now when we are talking about the regional comprehensive economic partnership rcep that is basically an important economic agreement between asean members and free trade agreement partners okay so there are some asean members and there are free trade agreement partners so that is the arrangement which they have the, its objective is to promote economic integration trade liberalization and the cooperation among the members countries okay now here you will be seeing these are the members over here okay we will be talking about this china there is this uh, australia brunei cambodia indonesia lao pdr malaysia this is basically when we are talking about the logo of asean okay then myanmar philippines uh, singapore thailand vietnam new zealand republic of korea and japan okay so basically these are the countries which are part of your rcep okay now here these are the country which are given in the options myanmar japan china Philippines and Australia, which we have already seen. Okay, now as I told you, option D would be your right answer. That is only five. Now coming to the next part, that is question number five. Which of the following does the West Bank share a border? Mediterranean Sea, Dead Sea, Red Sea, Persian Gulf. Okay, so basically this particular area, when we are talking about the West Bank or the Gaza Strip, uh, Golan Heights, this has been in news because of the issues which are going on in the Middle East. Okay, you know that there was this war which is going on between. uh you can hamas and the israel so basically because of which this area has been used and we should be very familiar with the area okay now they are talking about the west bank let's look at the west bank over here now here you will be seeing that this area over here when we are talking about israel this is israel okay this area over here is basically gaza strip where this issue is basically right now going on 
if historically speaking there is issue between this west bank gaza strip and israel okay now west bank and the gaza strip these are the areas which has been occupied by mostly by the palestinians okay though israeli settlements are there in the west bank but mostly uh, there used to be this palestinian population which was supposed to live over here okay so now here you can see west bank is having a boundary with the dead sea over here and this side there is jordan okay so that is there so west bank is having a boundary with the jordan okay and in the north of that there is this golan heights as well which is having boundary with the you can say syria and then there is this uh, sea of galilee as well okay so that is not available in this particular map but we will talk about that some other day so this is israel dead sea and here we'll be seeing that west bank and israel and jordan is having boundaries with that okay now something about the dead sea here you can say the dead sea is highly saline lake in the part of the jordan rift valley so this is basically part of the jordan rift valley okay now the dead sea is bordered by the israel then jordan and the west bank which is under the palestinian control okay then we are talking about the west bank that is having a palestinian control okay so that is about your dead sea now coming to the question again here option b would be your right answer okay now moving further question number six let's see which of the following countries share the longest land border with russia china mongolia kazakhstan finland this is very easy question answer would be option c that is kazakhstan when we are talking about the land boundaries kazakhstan and russia's boundary is one of the longest in the world okay so let's see over here here you can see this is the boundary with russia which russia has with the kazakhstan okay and here you can see the length of the boundary that is approximately 7644 kilometers and this is you can say it is one of the longest uh, continuous land border in the world okay so that is about the boundary between russia and kazakhstan option c would be our right answer moving further question number seven which of the following countries is not located along the caribbean sea Colum colombia venezuela brazil and cuba okay so let's see the map here when we are talking about the caribbean sea this is the caribbean sea here you can see colombia is having a boundary with caribbean sea and here you can see venezuela is also having this boundary over here okay now when we are talking about the brazil brazil is somewhere over here and this is not having a land boundary direct with the caribbean sea okay so that is one thing here in this particular map you can see colombia is having a boundary this is caribbean sea over here and colombia is having a boundary okay then venezuela is having a boundary guana is having a boundary suriname is having a boundary okay and then french guana is having a boundary okay then when we are talking about cuba cuba is an island over here in this map if you can see okay so in this is caribbean sea and this is cuba here you can see that so cuba is also having the boundary now coming to the discussion again here you can say colombia is having a boundary venezuela is having a boundary cuba is having but brazil is not option c would be your right answer over here because we have seen in this particular map over here that brazil is not sharing that boundary other than that in this map you can see that brazil is having a boundary with the atlantic sea but not with the caribbean sea okay so that is there in this map you can find out every country which is there this is basically the part of caribbean and then this is north atlantic okay this is brazil we have talked about peru recently we have talked about uh, chile argentina and bolivia okay when we are talking about the south american continent this has been recently in news we can say that there are two countries which are landlocked that becomes important for you one is bolivia second is paraguay okay so please remember that upsc has asked it uh, in previous uh, questions as well uh, you know many years ago but the thing is you can remember that such information are crucial for us okay now moving to the next part that is last uh, that is a uh, practice question for you consider the following statement with reference to the bangladesh bangladesh border touches only india and myanmar recently there is instability in bangladesh regarding reservation which of the following statement or the given statement are correct over here you have to choose the correct option over here so you can attempt this question and answer in the comment box with that i would like to wrap up this session i'll see you in the next episode till then have a good day thank you and if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe it have a nice day For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications